The Simplicity Touch Interactive Flat Panel by RecordX USA. Intuitive, dynamic, engaging. In this lesson, we're going to spend some time looking at the value add that the Android operating system brings to your RecordX Simplicity Touch. Most of the time you will be teaching using this as an interactive display unit of your computer. But the home screen does provide great value. In this lesson, we're going to look at customizing the background if you wish, adding a shortcut or removing a shortcut for the applications that are imaged on the device, as well as going in and looking at some instructional examples when you may use some of these applications that do not require your computer. I always keep a handy dandy flash drive with me, as you may remember from lesson one that there are USB ports right here on the front of the panel. When you're not using your computer, this is your best way to access whether or not you have a PowerPoint, a PDF, or any other content that you'd really like to leave behind for a substitute or a parent volunteer. We have awesome built-in backgrounds for you to choose from, or you can use your own image. From the home screen, let's choose the gear button on the front of the panel. And now we see the option for wallpapers. Tap wallpapers, you see your options along the bottom. The first option would be choose your image. That's if you want to customize it to your own image. Or you have all of these also. The last three or four are all live. So I'm going to choose the bubbles. And then I'm either going to have the option to set wallpaper from below or some of them up here in the top left. I'll tap set wallpaper. And now we have a different background. Next, let's look at the bundled applications that come with the interactive flat panel. We're going to select applications from the bottom left, then I'm going to show you how to make a shortcut directly on the home screen for the ones that you like and use most often. Under applications, you'll see an office suite. This is one of the most popular applications to leave content behind for a substitute teacher. Remember, we're gonna leave it on a USB stick Substitute teacher doesn't have to have access to your computer or your passwords. This gives them the option to continue teaching the content that you would, even in your absence. I'm going to tap and hold the Office Suite, and I'm going to make a shortcut on my home screen. If I did this and I no longer wanted it, I can simply remove it. Long press and hold, and go up to the Remove symbol. I'm going to leave it for now. Let's look at what you can do using the Office Suite application. I have the content on my USB drive. I have my USB drive inserted into a USB port on the flat panel. Let's tap into Office Suite. All right. Now, to find my files, I can go to My Documents. I could go to my USB storage. If you please note, it's going to tell you which one is your external storage, meaning coming from an inserted USB drive. Tap USB storage and you will be able to locate your files. For example, in this example, I'll tap the PDF of information literacy all about pill bugs. I have different options built into the Office app and my settings are in the top right. So if I'd like to make a comment and annotate, I can do that through the comment. Draw free form. Exit out. I can use my pinch to zoom, to zoom in on my text. This is a multi-page PDF. The benefits of having pinch to zoom and swipe and gesture ability on the interactive flat panel allows me to do some neat things. First, let's look at this multi-page document by using the swipe. Next, I'll use pinch to zoom so that we can zoom in really specifically on question two. Remember, if I'd like to annotate on this, I can use the annotation built in to the Office Suite by selecting my settings, comment, draw freeform. And then we can annotate 
on top of the PDF. Next, I'm going to use the back button to go backwards in the application or potentially exit. You have a built-in clock. I'm going to tap on the clock application by touching the time in the center of the home screen and it brings me directly into my clock application. You'll notice right here, I just have a giant digital clock. I also have the opportunity to set alarms if I'd like for a timer to go off on a certain day and a certain time. I also have my digital and I have a timer. So I could set some quick timers. I like to teach in blocks. This was very helpful to me. So for example, I may set a 20 minute timer play and then if I'd like to add a second block I will tap down here and add a second block. You'll notice I also have a giant stop clock. This is great for student games. I'm going to use the back button to exit this application. Using the USB media player application I'm going to insert my USB drive. Now. I keep saying media player because this app is different than from the Office Suite app we looked at earlier. Look at my dialog box. If I say OK here, it's going to open the media player app. It's very specific to media file extensions. I'll select local disk so that I can search for my external storage. Remember it's external because it's a USB drive that you've inserted into the panel. This way, I can choose file extension by an image file type, and it'll show me just my image files. I can do it by audio, and I will just see my audio files, or by video, and I will just see my video files. The neat thing about playing videos through the media player is they will loop, perfect for student projects if you want to put them on display on a curriculum night. Next, let's look at Express for annotation and whiteboarding without the need for a PC. Great for a student independent center. I'm going to tap Express right from the home screen. Inside of Express, we have lots of opportunities. We can use our annotation toolbar or our presenter tools for greater detailed videos to learn how to use Express please visit us online at recordxusa.com.